Joe Tomorrow from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All right. We're here with my boy Robert. What's up, man? Sure. This time he cleaned the cookies off his face. So if you've tuned into other episodes, you have seen that Robert had cookie crumbs all over his face. All right. So we're back with the Stay Right Pump. The first thing you want to do, right? Everybody say it together. Subscribe. All right. So hit the subscribe button. Robert missed that cue. But hit the subscribe button below. And what that will do is send your videos right to your inbox. So every time we publish a new video, you can hear me yell, hey, this is Joe Tamargo from Wethead Pump Repair. All right. So getting back to this, we've already removed the diffuser ring in the last video. Okay, you've seen that. Okay, here's your impeller. So what we're going to do now is we're going to remove some of the things in the back of this motor so we can remove the impeller. Okay, the first thing we want to remove is we want to loosen this capacitor bracket. Right, Ben? Mm -hmm. All right, just like that. All right, so here's my little screw. I'm going to give the screw to Robert. Okay, make sure you put that in a safe place. Robert's going to put it on the table so it gets kicked around and we lose it later. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we want to remove this switch back here. This is the single switch, the stationary switch, and the screw. All right, just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stick a wrench in here, and we're going to hold the shaft so we can, so we can spin the impeller. Now, you see that look on Robert's face? That's because he forgot the wrench. The wrench. So, unfortunately, it's just like when you're watching like Storage Wars, and they're like, what's in the box? And then they go to commercial. We're going to have to do it, folks. I hate to do it because I just so got started. But I'm not going to have Robert walk in front of the camera and then you're going to have to see his... Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. So, all right. This is Joe Tamaro from WetheadPumpRepair.com. The first step in removing your impeller is to A, make sure you have all the tools on the table and don't hire a guy like this for two years. Okay. The second step, okay, is to remove, like we said, the stationary switch and the capacitor. Okay. And then you'll see the switch back here. Okay. And we're going to remove that switch later, but we really don't have to remove that switch yet. Okay? Alright, so this is Joe Tamargo from WetheadPumpRepair.com. All parts are available. Take it easy, man. Robert's going to go get in the wrench, so you can do this in the next video, and then we'll show you how to remove the impeller. Alright, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Peace.